world's most notorious death row inmates had some of the most outrageous last meals you can imagine. And today, that's what we're cooking. These are 10 criminals that certainly deserve their fate. But to be honest, I think some of these criminals deserve an additional sentence for their terrible taste in food. The meals get crazier and crazier. By the end of this, the calorie count on some of these things are completely out of control. Thank God we have some very hungry neighbors, but we'll start with a guy named Victor. Victor Harry Feger was born in 1935 in Michigan. He ended up killing a doctor, pretty terrible guy. He was eventually hanged in 1963, the last person to be executed in Iowa. And believe it or not, his last meal request was a singular olive. Okay, welcome Sophia. We have a singular olive clocking in at 26 cents and seven calories. You ready? I'm ready. Ladies first, <laughs> this is your last meal. Terrible choice. Who's picking an olive for their last meal? You're going down and you're going with a singular olive. Wild decision. That reminds me though, we are going to be categorizing all of our criminals based on a very important formula. It is a ranking of how bad the crime was combined with how good or bad the food choice was. So in this case, Victor committed one serious crime. So we'll give him a B for the crime. However, his food choice, we'll give that a 60 or a D minus. It is kind of a bold choice. So if we average those two numbers, we are left with a 72.5, AKA, a C minus for our first inmate. But sadly, our next inmate isn't much better. Our next inmate is a guy named Gerard Lee Mitchell, who committed two extremely serious offenses back in 1985 and spent a whopping 16 years on death row until he finally went out via lethal injection. Believe it or not, his last meal request was a full bag of Jolly Ranchers. Clocking in at $14.99 and a whopping 8,800 calories. This is quite easily the worst last meal request I've ever seen. So we're gonna take this to the next level. We'll start by adding the best flavor to a bowl and let that go for about a minute. Next, we'll open up a bag of the world's best beef jerky and skewer that through like so. And Tanghulu. It is, oh, okay, Tibby. It is time for last meal number two. We have our whole bag of Jolly Ranchers that we have turned into. Tong Hulu. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Questionable. I can't even get through it. It's really bad. It's really bad. Honestly, Gerald, you made an absolutely horrendous choice. We are gonna give you a 50. In terms of your crime though, we'll give you an 80. What does that give us, Sophia? A D. Not good, Gerald. Do better. And for our third inmate, we have Timothy McVeigh, otherwise known as the OKC Bomber. His crime ended up killing over 160 people. He met his end in 2001 via lethal injection. He somehow decided to just go with two pints of mint chocolate chip. And clocking in at $14 and over 2,200 calories, we have our two pints of ice cream. For being real honest here, Sophia, you are uh, dairy free. I have a bite like this, she has a bite like that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's phenomenal. It's incredible. But as a final meal, I'm not buying it. In terms of his ranking, this guy is literally the worst of the worst. We're putting him at a 40%. For his food choice, a 60. That'll put him at a 50, which is a F. That's a failing grade. Next up, we have the notorious John Wayne Gacy. And let me tell you, this was not a very nice guy. He committed countless murders for over 10 years from 1967 to 1978. And this guy requested a full spread, starting with a very specific 12 fried shrimp. Coming in at just about $5, John Gacy started off his meal with about 480 calories. And the next thing he asked for was some KFC. Turns out he actually managed three KFC restaurants before his conviction. Could I have one bucket of fried chicken, please? All right, thanks, man. We got the goods. About 40 bucks and 4,000 calories. We got our fried chicken. He also asked for some fries. In a shocking turn of events, the very last thing he asked for was a pound of strawberries. You know, I think we're finally starting to get somewhere from a food perspective. We go fried chicken and shrimp. Cheers. Cheers. Nothing beats the kernel. Max, these shrimp are literally perfect. Let's hear that crunch. Ooh, this man's got taste. I mean, we're looking at a $56 meal and a whopping 4,500 calories. Food perspective, he did pretty good. So like 85? 60 on the crime. That puts him at a 72.5 or a C minus. Now it's time for quite possibly the most notorious criminal of all time. Ted Bundy. And when it comes to crime, this guy's done a little bit of everything, including escaping from prison. Fortunately, he met his end via the electric chair. This guy was so cold-blooded, he didn't even request a final meal, but still, the prison hooked him up. As part of a traditional last meal offered by the prison, Ted Bundy started off with a steak. This here is a 45-day dry-aged strip loin. Pretty nice marbling in there. And when it comes to last meals, or pretty much any meal, this is right up my alley. 
We'll just slice off the pellicle, season with salt, and black pepper. And he strikes me as a rare kind of guy, so that's what he's getting. And because it's dry aged, you can see we've developed just a beautiful crust. Next, two sunny side up eggs, only the best for Ted Bundy. So technically he got hash browns, but I'm giving him tater thoughts. Hold up, wait a minute. Tater thoughts. Tater thoughts. Tater thoughts. Some toast with jelly. Next, some soy milk. Ooh, I guess it was a 70s one. People were allowed to have real milk. That's the stuff. Yep, oh, right over the bread. It is Ted Bundy, so he can f himself. And last but not least, some juice. As you can see, it's in our Max Jerky cup. Good time to let you know that you should check out maxjerky.com for some excellent beef jerky. I'm using uh, Ted Bundy as a shameless plug. Is that bad? So it turns out Ted Bundy didn't even eat his last meal. Fortunately, we're not Ted Bundy. Cheers. Cheers. That was pretty good. This is my favorite so far. Since Ted Bundy did not choose this himself, and the fact that he didn't eat it, 50, like he, he deserves an F. And as a criminal, I mean, this guy has to be ranked low. 30? You average that out, that's a 40. I'll call that an F minus. You're gonna do all those people dirty like that, and then you're not even gonna eat your last meal. You suck. Our sixth prisoner goes by the name of Ronnie Lee Gardner. This guy was guilty of several horrific crimes, and he met his end in what I consider to be the most terrifying way possible via firing squad. Though he did have some pretty good taste in food, he went with a surf and turf. And what we have here is a jumbo spiny lobster tail. You can see how it's characterized by that really beautiful pattern, and then rest that meat right over the top for even cooking and beautiful presentation. And we'll get this guy right on the smoker over applewood. And in just 30 minutes, it's done. Hit it with some lemon and just some parsley. Ronnie also asked for a steak. We got that beautiful crust and a perfect medium rare. And he finished it off with the most classic American dessert of all time. We have some apple pie, vanilla ice cream. This looks good. As I look at this food, I really start to question how many pounds can one person gain in one day? How many calories have we eaten in meals today? All I can tell you is it's about to go up significantly in the next few criminals. But before we dig in, our man Ronnie had a very strange and special request. He asked to watch Lord of the Rings while he ate his last meal. Kind of questionable, but if he did it, so are we. My <laughs> I feel like we gotta start with that lobster. Hey, you caught one of these before. I did. Cheers. Cheers. To be with the impeccable timing as always. So tender. By far the best combo so far. What I like about it is it's not super excessive. Like this was all, I think roughly 50 bucks. Calorically, it's not crazy either. I think it's right around like a thousand calories. I'd say a 90. Obviously his crime was despicable, but in comparison to some of our other criminals, I think we'll put it at a 75. So that'll come out to 82.5. So a B minus, overall not terrible. Unfortunately, that is all about to change with our next criminal. Peter J. Minial, or what I like to call the glutton. I mean, this guy's request for a last meal is absolutely staggering. He committed his crime back in 1986 and went down via lethal injection. His feast started with not one, but two double cheeseburgers. And we're going with the smash. Starting with his two double cheeseburgers. I assume he likes ketchup on his burger as opposed to like mustard or something. It's not like he's a serial killer or anything. This massive feast continues with some Mexican, and I'm talking 20 tacos and 20 enchiladas. There's only one place to go for that. Are you guys gonna vlog or something? We are. It's uh, Max the meat guy. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hi, oh, you are? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, those people were extremely nice. Somehow, next up is a plate of pasta. We got some fried chicken. And next up, my man had a whole jalapeno pizza. <sighs> it's totally homemade too. He had half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, a freaking fruit cake. And he finally topped it off with some cookies and cream ice cream and some caramel pecan fudge ice cream. We're not done yet. You forgot the drinks. And it just wouldn't be complete without two cups of orange juice. $160 and 20,000 calories later, the fact that the state allowed this man to eat all this for his last meal, it's like he got away with murder. Cheers. Cheers. That is so good. Oh, man, it feels so gluttonous. 
Mm, mm, mm. I don't feel too good. Honestly, it doesn't taste that good. Well, yeah, it's Dale Taco Bell. Shh, tell me you know that. Thank God we have some very hungry neighbors because there is no chance we'd be able to finish all of this. We're going to give him an 85 out of 100. So he gets a B, which is actually the highest out of all of our criminals so far. And number eight, we have a guy named Thomas Grasso. Now, this guy committed his crimes over 30 years ago, back in 1990. Absolutely horrible crimes. He was targeting older people. But the thing I want to talk about is his food choices. They started out extremely great, but ended up quite questionable. Mr. Grasso started off by requesting exactly 24 steamed mussels and 24 steamed clams. Add in the mussels, next are clams, white wine, and some chicken stock. We'll just finish it off with a whole bunch of parsley. And next up, our man wanted specifically six spare ribs, which I can appreciate because these are one of my absolute favorite foods. And through the power of movie magic, six hours of smoking is done. Just finish them off with a little more of the rib glaze I used. And the bark on these is just straight up bark. And we are starting off strong with our 48 shellfish. Next up, the ribs. And I just realized the next element to this dish is gonna require us to go to BK. Clearly this guy is a man of great taste, but got the goods. One double cheeseburger, just never looks as good as the commercials. Two fresh strawberry milkshakes. I broke it. You wanted pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, sh and some strawberries. But for some godforsaken reason, he had to end it off with a can of SpaghettiOs with meatballs. And not just that, at room temp. What I'm looking at right here is what I believe to be my favorite lineup of food so far. Honestly, I'm most excited about the SpaghettiOs. It's been a while. Boop, boop. That's probably the first time someone's ever <laughs> cheers a mussel and a spaghetti o meatball. Mm. Really? I use a spicy rub. Oh, mm. I, he just, his timing is just always so wild. Mm. That was phenomenal. Because of the fact that this guy only committed two serious crimes, he is getting an 80 or a B minus for his crime, for his food choices. spaghetti, -o. spaghetti There's something about those SpaghettiOs in the corner that just doesn't sit quite right with me. I'm giving it a 95. That puts him solidly in the B plus range, which is the highest so far. We still got two left. This is where things start to get classy with a man named Robert Dale Conkins. He had very expensive taste, and I'm gonna show you why. And what we have here is a filet mignon. He asked for his filet mignon to be bacon wrapped and I kind of respect that. Start by seasoning all sides with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And we're not just going with any old bacon wrap. We're taking it to the next level with a bacon weave. And with our beautiful lattice made, we'll add the steak. It's almost like a little bacon egg, but into the oven. I kind of feel like I need to make this more often. You know, the tenderloin is so lean. We've hit a perfect rare. Bit of a gray band over the top since we had to broil it to crisp up that bacon. But overall, this is looking pretty good for a last meal. And dish number one, we have our beautiful rare bacon wrapped filet mignon. His next request were some sauteed shrimp with some butter and garlic. Next, an absolute stomper of a baked potato. Next up, asparagus with a light and buttery hollandaise sauce right over the top. French bread with butter. Sort of randomly, we have goat cheese, cantaloupe, and finally, apple pie with some ice cream. My ex-vegan sister's eating steak and I'm eating fruit. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This might be the best melon ever made. I wonder what was going through his head when he's choosing. I don't know, I'd like to believe maybe, you know, the shrimp reminded him of his mom's shrimp dish. The hollandaise is the one thing that kind of weirds me out. I actually like it. I think I am sold on this guy. I think it's gotta be 100. His crime was also a lot less severe than others, which was an 85 for an average of 92.5, our first ever candidate in the A category. But we have one left, and the first request of his, of many, is absolutely mind-blowing. Stephen Michael Woods Jr., we have made it to our final death row inmate, and this is where things start to get meaty. This man didn't ask for one pound, didn't ask for two pounds. Oh, yeah, he actually did ask for two pounds, but still two whole pounds of bacon. 4,900 calories worth of bacon being cooked behind me. The only reasonable next request from this guy was, of course, a large four-meat pizza. Meat number one, pepperoni. 
Next, a little bit of hamburger. Next up, a couple pieces of crispy bacon. And for our fourth and final meat, believe it or not, we are adding maple bacon burnt and jerky from Max Jerky, of course. And as a side note, if you do enjoy our videos and you want to support us, Max Jerky is by far the best way to do it. And now for what is always the most difficult part. Off to the pizza oven, I'll be back. And this right here is what a bundle of joy looks like. And our pizza is done. We got that nice crispy undercarriage and it's packed with all sorts of delicious meats right over the top. As if all this wasn't enough meat, next up we have four fried chicken breasts. And this is where the question marks start to come into my head because he asked for five chicken fried steaks after four fried chicken. It's not for you. Little side note, so it was my sister's job to make the chicken fried steak. You know, they look okay. She thought that she could trick us though and hide. What in God's name is that? Moving on. Two bacon cheeseburgers. There is only one option, the Baconator. French fries. A dozen breadsticks with marinara. He then added two pints of ice cream, finished it off with two Mountain Dews, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two sweet teas. I mean, we're looking at a whopping 17,500 calories. Whew. I mean, this is my dream as a youngster. Cheers. Cheers. Zero part of this is healthy, but it's freaking amazing. I could eat bacon all day long. Moving on to the absolute abomination of a chicken fried steak. You're going for it. You're going for the bad one too. Uh, no, bacon bun baconator. Well, dang. So in terms of his crime, we had about an 80%. Relatively not bad. If you're a man who orders two pounds of bacon, you're living on the edge. You're a next level person. I'm giving the first ever 110% on food. His combined score is a 95, and it happens to be the highest score of all. He scored an A. If you're gonna have a last meal, this is how you do it right. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We cooked more and ate more than we ever have in any video ever. Be sure to check out maxjerky.com. We really appreciate the support, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.